My client today is Kyle Schoonover, Deputy Sheriff from Wisconsin. Kyle came in today with his wife Stephanie. They're looking to get the same exact tattoo to symbolize what they've gone through in both being on the police force. Did you guys actually work together? You worked in two different departments. Yes, yep. There were like a couple times on duty where we crossed paths. Must put a toll on you guys though, every day going into the red. Kind of a mutual understanding of what the job is. You always have to be alert. That's for sure. I was involved in a shooting incident six months prior to Stephanie being involved in a shooting. Really? That's crazy, and then six yeah. months later, you? Yeah. You guys don't have like a lot of crime like that, right? Or... No, it was, it was like the first officer involved shooting in my department in over 20 years. Wow. So it was the first for everyone. Um, yeah. Talk me through that day. It was a completely normal day. I had just started my shift about an hour before, and Got a pretty regular call, you know, just a welfare check. A welfare check, what is that? Um, it was a suicidal okay. person. Okay, so it's a welfare, like... Yeah, welfare of the person. Or you're just checking, see yeah. how they're doing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And got behind him in his car. It was all uh, normal until he backed into me. Ran my car a couple times. So I got out of my car, and he was pretty much directing his uh, attention at, at me. He's so, yeah. He ended up going into a yard and playground area, rammed a couple cars that were parked in the parking lot there, and then came directly at me. Ended up trying to run me over. And it was real close to, to hitting me. Oh my god. And unfortunately, I had to use deadly force. So, I ended up shooting him. Wow. So, kind of ended it there without anyone else getting hurt. Were you on duty? I was at home. How did you hear about it? His parents came peeling into the yard, like just driving through the yard in the grass. My heart starts beating, you know, super fast, and they didn't have details at all. So then I eventually did get a hold of him, and at that point just kind of just wanted to see him, basically, but was not told that I could. Yeah. So. That must have been painful. It was. Just yep. the, the waiting around yes. like that. My wife, I called her when I had my accident. I was on a little satellite phone and I was like, hey, I got blown up. But she you never know, was in the military with me or anything, so she really didn't know. So right. uh, weeks later, I came home and I was in a wheelchair, all bandaged up and stuff. And kind of like the realization. So I'm kind of glad yeah. she was yeah. oblivious. Yes. Because for weeks, she would have been like going out of her mind. Right. right. You know, you got a couple hours, so I mean, that probably felt like weeks though. Yep, you know? yep, it did. It mm -hmm. felt like forever. Has it been helpful that it's something that the both of you have gone through? And you have each other to talk to about that? Mm -hmm. Just getting home from your shift and being able to even tell the story to your spouse of what happened, I think that alone is already starting to heal. I don't know, just keeping it all in. Yeah. All the time. You let it out just by telling him. All right, man. I think we are done. Let's check them out. All right, let's line them up, guys. Um, I would say come in. Come in two. Yeah, something like that, right? Cool. Love it. I think the tattoo looks awesome. It's a symbol of strength and courage. We still live with the stuff we've been through, so being able to talk about it together is therapeutic for us as well.